Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Today we will be doing five Pilates oblique strengthening exercises. You can do these exercises on top of a workout as a booster or repeat these five exercises as a full oblique workout. So let's begin the class. We're going to be doing about 10 repetition per exercise. So exercise number one is our pelvic curl with the alternate hip drop. So let's go ahead and lie on our back. Place yourself lying supine, ready for a pelvic curl. So let's do five pelvic curl, and then we're gonna hold the last one. So go ahead and exhale, scoop in the belly, curl the pelvis, take it up to your bridging position. Feet are parallel, exhale, let's roll the spine down. And again, exhale, roll it up. Just warming up the spine here, and we roll it back down again. Three more times, please. Exhale, we'll lift, in breath. Exhale, we roll down. Two more times, exhale, we lift. Exhale, we go down. Next one, we're going to stay at the top. So exhale, we roll up, we hold the position, make sure the knee stays parallel, drop the right hip down. So you are in a twisted position or rotational position and we press up, drop the left hip down. Exhale, and right hip. Exhale up and a left. Exhale up and a right. Exhale up. The thigh is still staying as parallel as possible. Twisting at the hip joint and down. And lift and down. And lift and down. Chest is open. Four more set. Down. Three more set. Down, two more set. Last one here. And lift, hold the knee breath. Exhale, let's roll everything back down to the floor. Number two is our spine twist supine. Open your arms up to a T position, lifting one leg up to the table position and joining the second leg up, squeezing the thighs together. Let's rotate from the waist towards me. As we inhale, the legs travel together. Exhale, return back from the waistline. Inhale, allow the oblique to initiate the move back to the middle and an in breath, we rotate. Exhale, we return. In breath, we rotate. Exhale. As a variation, you can also rotate, extend the top leg and then bring your leg back to center and we bend and rotate, extend the top knee, bring it back to center and we bend. Just a suggestion if you like to do it and center. And over to the other side, extend, back to center. Again, number five, you can also keep the legs in tabletop if you like. And we twist, and then come back. And number six, I'm going to extend my top leg here. Return, center, and over, extend, center. Again, three more set, we twist, extend. Back to center, other side, twist, extend, if you like, and center, last two set, extend, center, and twist, extend, last set, twist, extend, and center, last one, twist, extend, and center, lower one foot down, second down, and interlacing the hands behind the head for exercise number three is our chest lift with rotation. So let's go ahead, lifting the chest up. Now grab the hands behind the thigh. Can we lift the chest a little higher? You can use your arm to help you up. And then return the arms back behind the head. Rotate to the right, center and left. Rotating from the waistline out and center and left and center and right. And left. Number four. And on five. And eight. Keep the height of the chest off the floor. Nine. 
last set, center, hold, and release down. Crisscross is next. Legs up to tabletop one, and then two. Lift your head and chest up here. Extend the left leg, rotate to the right knee. And then we switch out, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last set, ten, bam, come back to center, and release down, lower one foot down, and second leg down, and let's come up for our side bend. I'm going to show you the traditional way, and then I'll show you the modification. So let's go ahead. We're gonna do 10 on each side here. So sitting up nice and tall here. We exhale, we lift up onto a side plank here, and then we lift the hips, take your body up into a little arch, look down to the floor, back, and soften the knees. And again, we lift two, so arch over, and back and down. We lift three, side bent over. And now for modification, if you need to, extend the legs, we we'll lift and then side and back and down. On five and then over, back and down. On six, so you just have to choose which version is suitable for you today. I'm gonna come up. Four, seven, we lift, and over, and up, and straight down. Eight, lift, and over, center, and down. And nine, lift, and over, and down. Last one, 10, and arch, up, and come down over to the other side, please. So you can go onto your hand or down on your forearm with a straight leg. Okay, let's go for another 10. We'll lift and over and side and down and two and over and center and down and three and Arch over, center, and down, and four, and arch over, center, and down, and five, and arch over, center, and down, and six, arch over, center, and down, and seven, over, up down and eight and over two more times here and nine arch and last one and side bend over and back and center well done that was five exercises for the oblique strengthening now have about one minute break and Rewind the video, repeat two more times for a full oblique workout. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch, and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.